How many times have I seen people wasting their time on manual Excel tasks? This is insane. Now, one of those situations is when you want to combine data from multiple worksheets into one. What do I mean by this? Let me show you. We have three sheets here, the data for 2020, the data for 2021, and an unrelated customer sheet. Now, most mortals, they will convert themselves into copy pasters. So they will select the data, control C, go to 2020. And imagine if you had 50 sheets like this, they will go at the bottom, control V and paste the data. Now, if you do this, you might get hit by a car. Why? First of all, there is grand total here and I forgot to remove it. And second of all, the order of the columns is not the same in the two data set. So you will go for a disaster. Let me show you the right way to automate all this. Control Z, let's go up. And the first thing we're going to do is convert this data set into an Excel table. An Excel table is like a database. Now, the only thing that you need to ensure is that the names of the columns are the same in all the sheets that you want to automate. The order doesn't matter, but the name is important. So let me go here, click inside, insert table. Here it will try to select your data. This is correct. My table has headers, okay. And we go call this data 2020. Press enter, perfect. Let's do the same here. I'm going to be a bit more fancy. I'm going to use the shortcut Ctrl T. And here again, same steps data 2021 press enter now that we have our two tables let's go to data and here we're going to use get data from other sources if you don't see this it means your excel version is before 2016 but there is an add-on you can add to use the queries i'm going to use a blank query and here there is only one formula that you need to know equal excel.currentworkbook this is the first one select it open close parenthesis don't forget this press enter now if you look here we have our two data tables that we created and there is another one coming from the third sheet which is customer table i don't want the last one so i need to eliminate it automatically and you might have others here the way to do it is very simple click here text filter and in my case, I'm going to do contains. If you notice, both of my tables start with data. So I'm going to say contains data. Press OK. And it will eliminate the third table. Now, if you add more sheets to this, call them data something and it will be automatic. Let's click on the arrows to expand. Remove use original column name as prefix. Press OK. And this is my data set. Now, if you see here in this window, everything I do will be recorded. And every time you refresh the query, all the steps will be executed. Now, remember at the bottom of my data set, I have this grand total that I don't want. How to eliminate it? There are so many ways. I'm just going to show you one of them. Click here, go down. It's like a normal filter. Remove this XXX, press OK, and there we go. I want to extract the year from this date. So I'm just going to add a column, custom column. I'm going to call it year. See how easy it is. Equal year. I have a formula here. Date.year. Open parenthesis. Let's select the order date. Close parenthesis. No syntax error. We are amazing. Press OK. And this is my additional column. Final step. I want to make sure that the data type that is used in every column is correct. So for example, this is a number, this is a text, etc. So click inside, Ctrl A, transform, and here you can select detect data type. There are so many things you can do here. I'm not going to go through them. I'm just going to use this and record this step. I think we are done. Let's just call this append data and you'll see why I'm calling it like this. Press enter go to file close and load now my query executed i have 243 rows and if you click here you will see the data for 2021 
and 2020. If I go to the right, this is my year, everything is perfect, I can even see each data point it comes from which table. Now there is a problem here, it's a hidden problem and trust me I got a lot of grey hair because of it. Let me show you. If you go here, right click and you want to refresh your query, you click, notice you have 485 rows. So the number of rows increased, what happened, this is crazy. Let me tell you what's the problem. If you see, this is another Excel table and this table is called append data. Now what I've done in my query is, I said I want to keep every table that has data in its name. So what will happen, it will keep this data, add the 2020 and 2021 data and increase my data. So to fix this, let's right click, edit our query. And here, if I go back to the first step, this is where I had the problem because I just eliminated everything that does not contain data. So one of the easy solution is just to remove data from here, press enter, we can do close and load. And now if I refresh the query, I get rid of this problem. Now, if you don't like this green, by the way, you can just go to table design, click here and select something else, that's fine. And now that I have this table, you will ask me what will happen if I add another sheet. Let's try it together. I have here an extra sheet, 2023, right click, move or copy. Let's just copy it to our other workbook, create a copy, press OK, there we go. We just need to create a table from this, Control T, usual trick, and we have to have data in the name. Let's call it data 2023. We go back to our query. We can right click and refresh here. Or if I go to table design, I can just refresh from here and I can even select this and refresh every time we open the file, every X minutes and so on. In my case, I'm just going to click here and you're going to see we got a couple more rows. You see, this is 2023 data. Now let's add a pivot table to finish everything. So to add a pivot table, insert pivot table. Let's put it in a new worksheet and you can see this is the name of the table. Press OK. Let's put the year in my rows. And here I want to see the total sales USD. There we go. This is how you can automate all this process. Just add new sheets. It's so simple.